the joint jet development project between South Korea and Indonesia, known as the KFX Experimental Aircraft, has considerable market potential in Southeast Asia because of the low cost. Korea Time said, the KFX fighter jet is a 4.5 generation fighter jet whose stealth technology is below that of the fifth generation U.S. aircraft such as the F-35 or F-22. However, the KFX has the advantage of lower prices with 65% of its parts made locally. The project is proceeding smoothly, said an official from the Korean Aerospace Industry on Tuesday. During a project review presentation for reporters who visited the company's headquarters in Sejin, South Jongsang Province, the South Korean government contracted Kai in December 2015 to complete the development of the KFX in 2028. If successfully developed, KFX will become a platform that targets Southeast Asian markets such as Malaysia, Brunei, Singapore, Thailand, Vietnam and the Philippines, industry observers say. Because the operational costs of KFX fighter jets are around half the US F-35 costs. The KFX project is the largest project since the founding of the South Korean military with a total budget of around 8.8 .8 trillion won, US $7.56 billion. The South Korean and Indonesian governments cover 60% and 20% of the budget respectively, while South Korean defense companies contribute 20%. The 14-year project that began in 2015 is divided into two phases with the development of systems for basic flight performance and air-to-air -air combat capabilities to be completed in 2026, followed by additional weaponry for air-to-surface combat capabilities by 2028. With a critical design review on for KFX conducted in September this year, after an initial design review in June 2018, the prototype KFX fighter jet will be launched in the first half of 2021. The first test flights will take place a year later. After 2,100 flight tests scheduled for completion in the first half of 2026, Kai will produce the first six KFX fighter jets that year. The South Korean government launched a full-size mock-up of the KFX during the International Air and Defense Exhibition ADEX, South Korea which was held on 15-20 October. The KFX jet has a width of 11.2 meters and a length of 16.9 meters, with a height of 4.6 meters. As a twin-engined aircraft that uses stealth technology, the appearance of the KFX fighter aircraft is similar to the US F-22 Raptor. Each KFX engine is able to develop a maximum thrust of 22,000 pounds, with the total maximum thrust of the aircraft being 44,000 pounds. This jet has a maximum takeoff weight of 25,600 kilograms and can fly as fast as Mach 1.8 with a cruise distance of 2,900 kilometers. The maximum weapon load is 7,700 kilograms which is placed at 10 hard points under the wings and body. For missiles used on KFX fighter jets, this project also involves European companies. The South Korean government initially negotiated with the U.S. to load U.S. air-to-air missiles, such as the AIM-120C, a medium-range missile called AMRAM or AIM-9X Sidewinder. But the U.S. government said it could not offer weapons technology before South Korea launched the first KFX jet prototype. Therefore, the South Korean government decided to integrate missiles produced in Europe. European-made missiles include the German Iris T short-range air-to-air missile that will be installed on each wingtip launcher and the Meteor long-range air-to-air missile. The KFX jet will use Korean-made air-to-surface missiles, including Korea's LJDAM Blue 109, laser-guided smart ammunition, KGGB, GPS guide bomb, and buster bunker bombs developed by Lignex-1. Precision-guided cruise missiles from Taurus KEPD KFX Jet Corps equipment has been developed with domestic technology, including AESA radar, active electronically scanned array, 
IRST, Infrared Search Track Device, EOTGP, Electro Optical Device in EU, Electronic Warfare Series. AESA's placement in fighter jets, in particular, is the first attempt by the South Korean military, which has used it for Chunggu Wang's medium-range surface-to-air missiles in radar search for the latest South Korean frigate. Kai KFX, also known as EFX in Indonesia, is a South Korean and Indonesian fighter aircraft development program which intends to develop advanced multirole fighter aircraft for the Republic of Korea Air Force in the Indonesian Air Force. The program was pioneered by South Korea, holds an 80% stake, and joined Indonesia in 2010 for the remaining 20% stake. Kai KFX is an acronym for Korea Aerospace Industries, Korean Fighter, Experimental, and EFX stands for Aerospace Indonesia, Fighter Indonesia, experimental, describing the main project company and the experimental nature of the program. Kai KFX is South Korea's second domestic fighter jet development program. Following the FA-50, the project was first announced in March 2001 by South Korean President Kim Dae-young at a graduation ceremony at the Korean Air Force Academy. South Korea and Indonesia agreed to cooperate in the production of KFX, FX fighter aircraft in Seoul on July 15, 2010, agreeing to produce around 150 to 200 aircraft, of which Indonesia would buy 50. The initial operational requirements for the KFX, FX program as stated by the South Korean Defense Development Agency are to develop single-engine single-jet jets with stealth capabilities beyond Typhoon the So Rafale and Eurofighter, but not as quietly as Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II. According to the Konkuk University Weapons System Development and Application Concept Center, KFX is intended to be superior to the F-16 Fighting Falcon, replacing the F-4D, E Phantom II and F-5E, F-Aging Korean Tiger, aircraft too, with an estimated production of more than 250 aircraft. Compared to the F-16, the KFX will have a 50% greater combat radius, 34% longer aircraft life, better avionics including AESA radar produced by Hanwha, and better electronic warfare capability, IRST, and data link capabilities. Operational requirements also specify around 50,000 pounds, 23,000 kilograms of thrust provided by one or more preferably two engines. High-speed interception and supercruise capability, basic stealth technology, and multi-role capability. South Korea will fund 80% of aircraft development and expects foreign partners to provide the remaining 20% of development funding. South Korea has 63% of the technology needed to produce KFX and therefore seeks cooperation from Indonesian Aerospace, Turkish Aerospace Industry, Saab, Boeing, and Lockheed Martin to develop KFX. Around 120 KFX will be built initially and more than 130 aircraft will be produced additionally after the first phase model reaches operational capability. The cost of each KFX aircraft is estimated at around $50 million more. In December 2010, the program shifted from F-16 class fighter aircraft to stealth aircraft. Codenamed the KFX and also known as the Borome program, the project has been under discussion for some 14 years. Indonesia will provide 20% of the development costs with a Korean domestic company to be chosen covering 20% and the Korean government supporting the rest. South Korea contracted Korea Aerospace Industries Kai, on 28 December 2015 to develop the KFX fighter from 2016 to 26 with deliveries due to begin 2026.